every time I think I can get rid of voice meter, they pull me back in. Let's talk about the December 2022 update. Greetings, heathens. I'm Jason Noir, your resident amateur audio expert. Today, I am finally going to talk about the new update from Voice Meter. Not much has changed, but there's one very important thing that you need to know. All the vocal processing that you're hearing right now is not being done through a third party application. This is all being done through Voice Meter Potato. This is important because only Potato has these new features. Let me show you what I mean. So here we have Voice Meter Potato. I'm using the 64 bit version. I recommend if you have a 64 bit computer, you do the same. And we're not going to talk about anything. I could literally just do this, but that would make the video very awkward. So we're only going to talk about the mic and mic no proc, which is no processing. Let me switch the audio for a second. I'm going to continue speaking and we're going to switch the audio track right now. And now as I'm speaking, you will hear a drastic change. The result of that is the simple no processing. You see on channel two here, there's no compressor, there's no gate, there's no denoiser. Spoiler alert, I absolutely hate the denoiser in any function, and it's not actually part of this update. It's existed before, so we're not going to talk about it. What we are going to talk about is the compressor and the gate. You'll notice channel 1 and channel 2 have the exact same ASIO input. It's input 1 and input 1, and you pin those. I have a video showing you how to do that. Check that out if you're unsure. But basically, it takes the two stereo inputs, makes it a mono input. You can also do that in the buttons there. But you can see it is the very same microphone. Nothing else is changed. I don't use any of these effects, although they can be cool. But without a way to automate them, they're kind of single use. And I just, I just don't bother with them. What we are going to talk about is the program. I think that stands for program, actually. I'm not even sure. But... You can either simply, and we'll switch back to the bad voice so you can hear this, you can either turn the compressor up, you can turn the gate up, and then if I talk, it'll be very difficult. I don't know what the hell it's doing. I'm not listening to this live. Or you can do some combination of both. But that's been the standard for I don't know how long. But what if you want a little bit more functionality, a little bit more control, a little bit better EQ? Now, I'll be perfectly honest, I did not spend much time setting up my EQ, but let's go through what the changes are. So if you right click on the button, I'll show you over here. If you right click on the button for compressor, you will get the compressor details and you will get the gate details. It does not matter which one you click on, you will get them. So what I like to do with anything like this is make sure that your level is, is fine as it is. And for a microphone, you want the microphone level in its raw state to be somewhere in and around here. People will say that's about 12, or sorry, minus 12 to minus 18. We're roughly in there, so we'll call that a win. I don't touch input gain. Ratio, a lot of people will tell you to start at four. I actually find that very good. I don't know what the reasoning is off the top of my head, but four is a very nice round number. So if we bump that up to four, you will see that I can't get it properly, but you can see that the compressor is actually doing the things that we said it's doing. You can also hear that I am clipping like crazy, and I'll get to that in a second. The reason it's clipping is because of the threshold, so we wanna pull that back up until about where I need the compression, whereas where the quiet, the loud part's quiet, the quiet part's loud, that sort of thing. So you, you sort of have to play with that. And if I go back to my original settings, you'll see that I have it about 32, roughly the same 
roughly the same. I, I generally know where my voice is, and you will just have to listen to that for this. I'm going to assume you know how a compressor works, but attack time is how quickly you want the compressor to come in. Release time is how quickly you want it to go away, basically. I don't know if I've messed with those. I did. I want my attack time right away. So we put that down there. A lot of folks will tell you to give it a little bit of room to breathe, but I'm impatient. The knee is actually the one thing that I need to do more research on. So I do believe I have left it where it is, and I have reasonable success with that. If you'd like me to research more about that, leave me a comment. And then the output gain, what I've done is you can either choose the output gain or have it on auto makeup now. The problem that professional producers will tell you is never use auto makeup gain. What I will amend to that statement is don't fucking use voice meter on a professional recording. If it's for your stream, it's for shooting your audio to discord. If it's for anything else other than audio recording, who cares? Reason I say that is I'm doing it too. It, it doesn't matter in the, in the context of a non-professional recording. And yes, your streams and videos are of course professional. I know they are, but the auto makeup will not, auto makeup gain will not hurt you in that aspect. Next, we come to the noise gate, and I honestly don't remember what my settings are. And since I'm not monitoring live, I will just show you what I have for my gate. I am in a very noisy room very noisy in fact as i record this right now my heating is on you can't hear it but it's over there so i need a lot of gate and i need it to come in very quickly a couple of functions that i'm uncertain of what they do because i honestly haven't played with them and i've never seen them on a noise gate before is the damping max and the bp sidechain so i just leave them alone i find that i'm happy with the results feel free to experiment it's your audio just don't make sure you have it set up before you go live and then of course we have our attack time which is the same how quickly you want the gate to engage once the noise comes above the threshold and the hold time is how long you want it to stay there again i have a very noisy room but sometimes we don't always have the optimal situation so use that at your discretion and the release time i again have it have it a little bit longer because i tend to have these pauses in my voice so i want the gate to stay while i shut up so i can get my thoughts out see i just did it there and so once you adjust that we'll make it the same 48 we'll we'll make it roughly the same uh, okay sure we'll make it roughly the same that's okay that's close enough i could uh, terrible mouse you should sort of hear them exactly the same except for the tonal differences in my voice now if you've been paying attention to this static graph you'll notice that eq is highlighted here and not on the no processor channel reason you can do that is you can right click on that eq and then you have uh, a, a very interesting indicator that the EQ is off and you can mess with it. I am not a hundred percent familiar with this style of EQ. That should not matter. You should always EQ with your ears. For argument's sake, the settings I'm using right now are this. They do not look like any other EQ settings I've ever used on my voice ever, which is probably why I'm not the most happy with how my voice sounds right now. But in order to engage the EQ, you just turn it on with a left click. Right click to edit, left click to engage. And now, I think you can just double click to get it back to normal. And that is basically everything and you just right click to get back to your regular channel settings the one other thing i forgot to mention before i deleted my settings is you'll see this limiter here voice meter has a built-in limiter it always has and i always like to throw it in because you saw earlier on in the video that my voice was very aggressively clipping how you activate the limiter is very simple you right click inside the meter and you set it to whatever you want i have it set to minus six decibels this is always in db so you can set it to whatever you want if you want to 
basically, I, I don't, I, I have no idea why you would, but if you wanted to put it to minus 30, you could. And now that microphone is limited to minus 30. <laughs> I don't know why you would. There was also something I saw. I got it to work once and it won't work again. Yes. Once you have the limiter in place, you can click and drag it. And it, ha it has a minimum value of minus 40. Good idea is between minus 3 and minus 6 because that'll hit the red and it should only ever flirt with the red. I think my minus 6 is a little too aggressive, but I know because my makeup gain is working overtime on voice meter, I like to have that there so I don't blow out anyone's eardrums. That is a very quick and very dirty explanation of the voice meter December 22 potato update. Let me know if you have questions, because I think as I was recording, I made myself have questions, but I'd like to hear from you. Let me know if this is something you'll actually use. I'm still on the fence about keeping voice meter. To be perfectly honest, I keep voice meter on my computer so I can make videos for you. In my personal situation, I probably would not use it. And on the recording computer you see behind me, I definitely don't use it. But this is but voice meter is but as we all know voice meter is the de facto standard if you don't have an audio interface that creates the routing for you but as we all know voice meter has been the standard for a long while especially if you don't have an audio interface that sets the routing for you you can do so much and if you don't have ASIO I forgot to mention you can simply just use your USB microphone, whatever microphone you have available. And all of this, every single function that we've talked about will still work without adding much latency. I don't want to say any because there's always latency added, but it's definitely not much and it's definitely not noticeable to the naked ear. I've talked your faces off for far too long. Thanks for checking out the video. Be safe, be consensual, and if you can't be good, well then sweet Satan on a pogo stick. Be good at it, and I'll catch you in the next one.